Yo, what is good, yo? It's your boy Ty back here with another video. And in this video today, we are going to be doing new point guard diamond Iman Shumpert gameplay. Now, before we dive into Iman Shumpert stats, badges, all of that, if you are new to my channel and have not yet, please consider smashing that subscribe button as we are on the road to 60,000 subscribers. The recent support has been absolutely absurd, and I truly cannot thank each and every one of you guys enough. Iman Shepard, 6'5 at the point guard position, 215 pounds, 93 ball, 95 driving dunk, 80 ball handle, but look at the perimeter defense, 97 steal, 95 perimeter defense, 94 speed sweep ball acceleration, as well as a 96 lateral quickness, 100 driving dunk tendency, hopping on down to the defensive tendencies here, pretty stellar across the board, 97 pass interception on ball steal tendency, as well as 90 contest shot and block shot tendencies. 26 Hall of Famers, catch and shoot, relentless finisher, ankle breaker, pickpocket, big dodger, clamps, hard crusher, interceptor, intimidator, defensive badges go pretty crazy. Hall of Fame contact finisher, showtime, Hall of Fame handles for days, quick first step, unpluckable, volume shooter, and Tyler shooter. 23 on gold, including dimer, rebound, chaser. Does come with pro touch, flexible, high zone hunter, range extender on gold. Badges, I would look to give Iman Shumper. There's not that many of them. Rim protector, chase down artist. Uh, possibly maybe dead eye if you really want now next gen you are going to probably want to apply the blinders badge looking at shump on current gen the biggest thing is how does he move right a 6-5 point guard right let's just compare everything he does to tyrese halliburton because not that not that they're the same player but you might be deciding between those two cards on who to play so that's kind of what we're going to look at today i feel like i've been playing on the wrong camera angle all day like i feel like i've been playing on on zoom one maybe i have been on the wrong camera angle all day but the one thing about iman shumper release that i say is it is extremely quick but it's 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 i wouldn't say it's the smoothest release i've used now it's not bad it's not bad by any means but it's just not the smoothest release i've used and i think he's got pro three yeah he's got pro three which ultimately isn't terrible but for the time we're in you know everybody's really got the pro two so that he's kind of lagging a little bit behind in those categories but we know what Iman Shumpert is going to give us outside of the burst in the full court his dribble sticks are terrible his tween I guess isn't that bad like his tween is is usable but his dribble sticks aren't that great his release isn't great uh and so you just kind of know what Iman Shumpert's going to give you on the offensive end if you do run Iman Shumpert at the point guard position you're going to want to run him with a shooting guard that can make some plays because I don't think Shumpert should probably be your primary ball handler. Maybe, no, I'm just kind of going out on a limb and saying that. Now, you could probably make it work, but I just think for Iman Shumpert and his value and what he's going to give you, a lot of it is on the defensive end. That's just the truth behind Iman Shumpert. He's not terrible on the offensive end. His release is super, super quick, but a lot of what Iman Shumpert is going to bring is on the other end of the ball. Looking at Shump here on next gen again, we're just going to kind of see how he moves. Without the burst in the game, does he have what it takes to really be that, you know, primary creator, primary ball handler. And I just don't know. I feel like on next gen, I don't, I don't know. I feel like his release at least is better. Now, I feel like a lot of people people's releases are better and, and the green window is just bigger when you go to next gen. But I will say his release does look a lot smoother on next gen than current gen. I will I'll be I will say that. And I, I, might, I might be completely wrong in that. Now, maybe you guys might disagree with me, but I do firmly believe that next gen wise, you're gonna green more shots with Iman Shumpert than on current gen. It's just it all comes back to dribble six. Can he be your primary ball handler? Next gen, current gen, both. I just don't know. I feel like I can create better with Tyrese Halberton than Iman Shepard. But that's what this gameplay is for. You know, we're going to be doing the gameplay primarily on current gen. Just wanted to show you how he moves on next gen. But we're going to see. Can Iman Shepard be that type of a guy? And that's what I'm here to bring to you guys. Looking at my opponent here, he's got D'Lo, Bruce, Bowen, and Lamar Odom, Magic, and Pau Gasol. So he's got a pretty decent no money spent squad. And this is going to be interesting because I'm using my next gen controller on current gen. So that's going to be an adjustment as well. So if I don't green a lot of my shots, I'm just going to blame it on that. It gives me a good excuse. Oh, yeah. Okay, I thought I threw a dot. That's fine. Back to Shump. Come here. With the speed glitch in the game, and that's what Shumper does bring. I mean, he does have the speed glitch. You guys can see the Showtime activation. And if there is one thing y'all should know about me, I love Hall of Fame Showtime. So if there is one thing about Iman Shumper that I'm going to be high on, it is the fact that he has that Hall of Fame Showtime. I'm, I'm just being realistic with y'all. If, if there is only one thing I can be high on, it's that. That's fine. We're there. We're there. Yes, sir, Sean. That's a great contest. We're there. Great defense. Great defense. Great defense. We're fine. We're fine. We're fine. No way. 
He's trying to cheese me. Chill, 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 chill. Yeah, oh yeah, Sean. I don't even know what's going on right now. That's a Dato. Give me one, Kareem, from way downtown. You love to see it. If you lose, I'm blaming it because you got Pau Gasol. Get that bum off your squad. Oh, you missed that. Yeah, might just might just be time because that was actually a good shot. Ah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Show him to the cup. Show me some M1. So show me some Showtime with an M1. And that's the thing I like about Showtime. You don't even got to dunk the ball. That Showtime activation right there. Kareem now has post scoring takeover. And we're getting there. Up 11 to 0 against my opponent right now. Oh, yeah. Show Sit for me. You know what to do. That's great defense. That's great defense. Swing for me, DeRozan. That's great. Y'all are hooping right now. Show me some. I literally was just sitting. Like, I wasn't even trying to guard him. It's fine, Sean. Oh, yeah. It's fine. Ah. Oh, yeah. Show him to the cup again. That's some showtime. We got to be getting closer and closer to team take. Draymond now has takeover as well. That's great, D. Look at Dre. Uh oh. Uh oh. Look at our takeovers. Oh, my goodness. He just greened at 30%, I guess. Gosh. I just wish his full court dribble sticks were better. Because, like, even right there, it just ruined what I had going, right? The the full court dribble sticks got to be better than they are. Shump, you got to be getting closer. Thank you. I hit the wrong icon. Can you guys find a way to get a stop here? Jump again to the rim. And if that's what you do, if you run to the rim, Shumpert's a decent option. You guys can see it on display here. Because of the Hall of Fame Showtime and he's 6'5", you can't sit here and tell me he's not a good option for point guard. You just can't sit here and, and tell me that with a straight face. Oh, yeah, AK, one more to Shump. Chill. Back to Kareem. What in... Oh, I should have just shot it with you, Kareem. That's me. Oh, yeah, Shump. Show me something. That's a bucket, Shump. Yes, sir. You might as well do your thing. Get him out of here. In Unlimited, Shumpert played pretty well. We didn't really get to see their release on display outside of the one white at the end. But defensively, as well as showed off the Hall of Fame Showtime, he played pretty solid. Looking at my opponent here, Jerry Sloan, Clyde Drexler, and Obi. So he's got a decent enough team, but he doesn't have new mystery, Diamond, Iman, Shumpert. That's great defense. That's great D board. Thank you. Yes, sir, Shump. We're stopping on the break. Come on, give me one. What in the meter? Oh my goodness. Dot now. Thank you. There it is. No way. Can you green one? I feel like I'm slightly late on everything. And that's just part of the adjustment I need to make with all of these new players. Is I just need to release things quicker. Because right now, I feel like I'm just slightly late. Not only with Shump, but with everybody. Like, I just got to speed my process up that little bit. Oh, yeah, Shump. Get busy for me on D. Pause? Is that a pause? That's a pause. Come on, Shump. That's good defense board. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, Shumper. You're not going to quit the game? We did end up getting a quit after only being up 5-0. to zero. I guess the quits are just the Iman Shumpert effect. I couldn't get somebody to stay in the game for Iman Shumpert, but still, in that unlimited game, you could see what he does for me on both ends of the court. He got me team takeover pretty quickly because of the Hall of Fame Showtime. And as far as budget point guards are concerned, how many budget point guards come with Hall of Fame Showtime? Like, that's my question for you guys, right? Iman Shumper, right around probably 20,000, I think is what he is. Yeah, he's going to keep getting cheaper. So, uh, right around the 20,000 price range. And how many point guards, guys, in that price range have Hall of Fame Showtime? There's not that many. So, if you really value that like I do, then you can make the case that, you know, he is better than a Tyrese Halliburton type of player. Because I don't think Halliburton has Hall of Fame Showtime. I think it is on gold. Obviously, me personally, I still would take Halliburton over Iman Shumpert. But you can make the case that Iman Shumpert does some things as well as Tyrese Halliburton. You definitely, definitely can. So, I'm pretty high on Iman Shumpert and what he can give you on both ends of the court. Especially when you do, you know, fully badge him out. You apply the dead eyes of the world, you know, the post move lockdown, corner specialist those types of stuff but even a bare minimum iman shepherd card is absolutely incredible i absolutely love the card 
And, I mean, for my No Money Spec Squad account, he might be somebody I look at picking up. But I hope you guys did enjoy the video. Drop a like on the video. Subscribe if you are new. And as always, man, I love you guys. And have a blessed day.